Do you have planets in Bharani Nakshatra and you are wondering what can happen? Well, as we started the series on Nakshatras and Pending Karma, we completed Ashwini. Now we are in the second Nakshatra, which is Bharani. And Bharani, as much as you may like it or you, you may not like it, it is a very intense Nakshatra. It is one of the most difficult Nakshatras, all right? But that does not mean that if you have any planet in Bharani or if you have too many planets or if you have prominent planets like Sun, Moon or Ascendant Lord, you will have a very difficult life or everything is just collapsing in your life or everything will just end, okay? It does not mean that, okay? So today we will unfold 10 karmic lessons that you might be benefited by learning about Bharani so that you can prepare accordingly, all right? So the aim of the video is not to uh, create fear by telling difficult things about Bharani, but to prepare ourselves so that we don't panic when problems come in this world because Bharani is the nakshatra of Yamraj and Yamraj is the god of death in uh, our Vedic tradition. He takes away things, right? Bharani is also representing the yoni, which is the womb, and it shows, you know, a lot of other things which we will discuss today all right so if you're new don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video who have who has a prominent bharani nakshatra and for personalized horoscope consultations please proceed to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him even if you have a strong bharani all right and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video and comment what are your realizations about Bharani Nakshatra? I would love to see that. All right. So, Bharani is the Nakshatra of creation, nurturing, transformation, intensity. You know, it's the Nakshatra of intensity, basically. So, if you want me to describe one word for Bharani, it's intensity, right? <clears throat> now, the first lesson that you need to know is if you have a planet like any planet then there will be transformation and rebirth. Okay, so it's like a new you, new you <laughs> is getting born. You are already born in Ashwini, but in Bharani there is rebirth, right? So when Bharani Nakshatra, uh, when there is a planet in Bharani, then what happens is you have to embrace some radical transformation. And there could be rebirth. Okay. Now, this could uh, this could be good or bad depending on your chart. So, if you are having Bharani Nakshatra related to the Dusthana houses, you know, for example, if Bharani is in your eighth house or if the eighth lord is in Bharani, then this could uh, be a bit difficult. But in general, it could be positive also. Like if your tenth lord is in Bharani. No, so you might experience profound transformations and you know uh, this could help you embrace change and renewal at a different level okay so it's like a new you basically <laughs> number two bharani nakshatra is where you get punished for your sinful activity so please please be watchful of your wrong actions if bharani nakshatra has a very specific trait and I'm telling this to you, you might not have heard this anywhere and this is not to boast that I am knowledgeable but I'm telling this to warn you. <laughs> Varani is an akshatra which awards you with instant punishment. If you have a planet in Varani and you do anything wrong in context of that planet, the clock is ticking. <laughs> oh boy, it's coming. I have seen people, you do nonsense and it is like, bang on. It's like, <laughs> you... everything is instant in Bharani, all right? It's like super in, uh, instant, all right? So you have intense energy, passion, you know, um, lot of sex desire is there you know a person who has prominent bharani there could be extreme sex desire you know extreme desire for intimacy or it could be the other way around you know there's no sex desire there's no desire for intimacy you know because the person is damaged inside so therefore please 
please cultivate the sense of responsibility. Okay, whenever you see your mind is taking you towards the wrong direction, please stop the mind. Otherwise, there's somebody else waiting to stop you. Okay. Number three with Bharani, very, very, very important. You need to learn to respect boundaries and limits. Very important. Whose limits? Whose boundaries? Yours or others? Actually both. So Bharani Nakshatra, this I also said for Ashwini. See, Ashwini people, they like to help others by default. Bharani people, they feel for others. So because of this, you may let anyone and everyone inside your circle. And because of this, you may end up getting exploited. So please have a boundary for yourself. Have a boundary. Okay, I won't tolerate this. And also if somebody else is showing. So suppose your seventh lord is in Bharani. Then you have to understand that your spouse may set some boundaries. Or your marriage might have some boundaries. It's like the Lakshman Rekha, right? So therefore, don't cross the boundaries. Otherwise, there's somebody else waiting there. <laughs> So staying within the boundaries could be over, could be empowering actually. Okay. Number four, this is maybe after point number two, maybe this is the most important lesson. For Bharni, you have to cultivate two qualities. These two qualities are non-negotiable for you. It is patience and endurance. Now, I said the same for Ashwini. You need patience because Ashwini, you know, does too many different things at a time. But the problem with Bharani is there can be so much suffering sometimes. You have to cultivate patience by default. Because Bharani is the nakshatra which can make you very impatient not because you have too many options. That's with Ashwini. But because for you, you might not have any option. Sort of desperation, you may do things which you should not do. It's like saying if... Uh, if you have no water to drink, will you go and drink water from the gutter? It's like that, right? It's very bad. But you have to cultivate patience, my dear sir, my dear madam. You have to. It's a tough one. So if 7th Lord is in Ashwini or suppose 10th Lord is in Ashwini, you know, there could be delays in getting promotion. You know, people are getting in 3 years, you may need 5 years. You know, but you have to, right? Be patient. Now, number five, very important. You have you have tremendous energy inside. See, Bharani people, they appear very silent sometimes. They appear very quiet. And you may think, oh, what, what's that? They're so silent. Ooh, maybe this person doesn't know anything. Oh my God. And then this person opens his mouth. <laughs> and you are like, where were you? Kaha <laughs> So therefore, please utilize your energy constructively. You have a lot of passion, a lot of, lot of things inside. <laughs> it's like a, it's like the the combination of Pacific, Atlantic, Antarctic, you know, Indian Ocean, all the oceans. It's like a ocean uh, group of oceans. Thousands of oceans are inside you. But you have to use this constructively. Otherwise, you, you will use it for self-destruction. Okay. So, never, never let your mind go astray. Of course, you can't do it always. But if you see that you are, you know, doing, you are taking your, your mind is taking you towards, you know, directions like, you know, sexuality, pornography, addiction, or, you know, envy, gossip, all the negative, you know, the vices, then please bring it back. Otherwise, it will destroy you. Okay. Number six, very important. You might have a desire to care and nurture for others. Okay. So, for example, if your fourth lord is in Ashwin, you might you might need to give some healing to your mother. Okay. This is also with Ashwini. Healing is there. <clears throat> but in Ashwini. You might get healing from others or you might give. But in Bharani, it is you who have to be the giver. All right. So if you have plants in Bharani, be prepared to give some healing. 
so that would be healing at a mental level emotional level you know uh, fourth lord in Ash uh, in bharani you know you, you might have to support your mother lifelong for some reason all right so these things can happen so be prepared for nurturing and caring others if you have planets in bharani so do financial planning accordingly number seven bharani you may have some fear of unknown no fear of unknown basically you fear something which is not there which can never be there which was never there but somehow you fear it so therefore you might have to do some spiritual practices you know so for example if your fourth lord is in bharani and you buy a new home new house then you might get some fear you know is there some ghost or somebody there you know so then what happens is you might to do some you might have to do some narsimha yagya some home puja and all this you know so because of that what will happen is the fear will start going okay otherwise you might you might fear that you know something is there or you might have fear of hidden enemies like sixth lord is in ashwini you are fearful that somebody is trying to pull you down okay for some reason that you don't know but it's like your gut feeling okay and number eight, this is also there for Ashwini, but specifically for Bharani, this is very, very, very important. You need to practice self-control and moderation because Bharani can have a tendency to go into extremes, just like Ashwini. But for Ashwini again, it's because there are too many options. But for Bharani, it's like you are, you are so confused sometimes in regards to your lack of, because of, you know, not having any options because of which you kind of start to feel that maybe i'll do whatever i can now that's fine there's nothing wrong with it but you need to understand that you have to have self self-control because if you don't have self-control for varani it will be like a road to hell so for example if your seventh lord is in varani you start, suppose you are married and you start doing extra, you start having extra marital affairs. So it will not stop. You will have two, three, four, five, and one day it will all end. All right. So therefore, Bharani, please channelize your energies properly. If you have seventh lord in Bharani, then Please do collaborations, partnerships, use it at a professional level. Otherwise, your married life may suffer, okay, for because of reasons that you would not like to hear. <laughs> and number nine, Bharani Nakshatra will test one thing from you, your power of choice. So, for example, if you have 10th Lord in Bharani, you might have to make a decision which will completely take your career in another direction. And in Bharani, what happens is, I'll tell you, most of the times, this is not always, but most of the time that I have seen in my experience, anything that happens when a planet is in Bharani, anything you that you do in the dasha of that planet, it is irreversible. You cannot take it back. That's just not possible. So therefore, what happens is, there is a point of no return. So, your Lagnesh is in Bharani or suppose your third Lord is in Bharani. Be very careful with what you say because it's like death. Once you have said, that's gone. The arrow is gone. Right? It's gone. Right? So, Bharani natives, be very careful before you end relationships. And this is not just, you know, your romantic or relationship with your spouse. It, it, it works with, you know, relationships uh, in regards to anyone and everyone. Hmm? Both Lord in Bhani. Be very careful with what you say to your mother. Okay? Otherwise, it can go to a point of no return. Right? So, you have to exercise your free will properly. Self-control free will. And number 10 and the most important lesson. If you have planets in Bharani, regards to that, in regards to that particular planet and the Karakatwas and their lordships, it might be 
in worst case, this is extreme and very worst case, you might have to make peace with the fact that you will never get it in your life. Seventh Lord in Bharani, if the sixth house is linked, it could happen that you never get married or your marriage never works. You have had two, three divorces. So you have, you might have to make peace uh, with your karma. Now, this is probably, Bharani is the only nakshatra for which I will say this. Probably. Could be a, there could be a one or two nakshatras more. But specifically for Bharani, I have seen. Sometimes I have seen fifth lord in Bharani. No children. They are trying, trying, trying. Whatever they are trying, it's not happening. And then you can go for adoption and all this. You know. So, if you have a planet in Bharani, and you have tried everything. And there's no result. Please try to activate some other aspect of that house. So for example, if your fifth lord is in Bharani, you know, if you have tried with love relationships and it doesn't work, and then you are in your late 30s, 40s, and you are still wondering, Adopt some child because fifth house is also children and love affairs. Okay. You might have to find alternatives because Harney can take things away from you permanently. So this is something you don't have to be fearful of, but you need to understand if something, if you have a planet in Harney and you have tried something repeatedly and again and again, it's falling, it's failing. Maybe it will fail again. This is something you have to be aware of. Now, that does not mean you don't try and you don't do anything. But it could happen in the worst case. Okay. So, therefore, Bharani is an intense nakshatra. So, please exercise self-control. Do spiritual practices. Channelize your thoughts. And I am sure you will, you will be able to make the best use of a bad bargain. Alright. I hope I didn't hurt anybody by saying this. But... Harni is a tough nakshatra and if I just speak good things, I speak nice things, sweet things, you may like to hear and this video may get a lot of views, double, triple views, but it will not do justice to you. So I, I will prefer to do justice rather than getting more views, all right? But nonetheless, if you still like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website. Down in the description section, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Don't worry.